Louis, our man in Brazil, Chase. Uh, hilarious when governments try to ban platforms when you can just use, yeah. But what they do, what they will try to do is ban VPNs. But Jack has already found a way. You pay with Monero, you get your VPN, right? This censorship it is, is the last resort of totalitarian nations, right? And anybody that supports censorship, and I know a lot of, a lot of woke, leftoid, low IQ little red rats on the West Coast that support censorship, right? Because it's them censoring, right? They don't consider them fa themselves fascists when they're censoring stuff because it's anti-science, right? Because they support Fauci, right? So they're okay with censorship as long as they're censoring it. They don't realize they're actually fascists. They're totalitarian. They're the enemy of humanity, right? So a lot of a lot of fanatics, their bastion, their last holdout is censoring everything. Yeah, Elder God, man, VPN. Good luck with that. Yeah, what they'll do, they'll threaten people. It's like when Chris Cuomo in New York, the broadcaster in New York, right? Uh, I think it was Chris Cuomo that said it was illegal to read WikiLeaks, right? Like literally, you had CNN broadcasters, top broadcasters, telling the American population that it was uh, illegal to read WikiLeaks, to access a website online. Why? Because I think this was a time where uh, WikiLeaks released uh, Cablegate, uh, Hillary Clinton stuff, right? So the left mainstream media, corporate media in the United States, they came out and told people it was illegal to read weekly. Like, just effing imagine, right? The closest analogy would be if the corporate media came out and told you it was illegal to read 19, George Orwell's 1984. It was illegal to read a book. That's what they were saying. It was illegal to read a book, to read information. Right, and some people thought, yeah, it was illegal to go to WikiLeaks. Lowest of the low IQ mofo you ever seen in your life. That's what we got in the Western world in Canada, United States, anyway. Some of the lowest IQ people with zero critical thought you have ever met in your life because they actually thought it was illegal to read WikiLeaks. Right? Well, they'll do the same thing. They'll come out and say it's illegal to use VPN. And if the government catches you using VPN, and they know because they're watching you, right? Because, you know, they can see your bank transactions. So they'll freeze your bank accounts, the Canadian government did, for anyone donating $5 to the trucker movement, right? It's illegal to use a VPN, and people will not use a VPN, right? So they'll self-censor, self-ban themselves. All we have to know Again, all we have to know is any individual, any institution, any government which is trying to prevent humanity from accessing any information, it doesn't make a difference what it is, if they are trying to prevent human beings from educating themselves, they are the enemy of humanity. We have reached a point in human history it's, it's an incredibly important moment in human history that we need to deal with tyrants and low IQ red rats like that. No quarter given. You cannot allow tyranny to take over. Can't allow it. Can't allow it. Okay. Can't allow it.